Hey guys, Ryobi King here. It's finally here. We're gonna be doing a review on it today. Stay tuned. And here it is, the forever waited on crown stapler that I told you I was gonna be doing the review on. <laughs> I know, I know it took me a while. I was still waiting for Home Depot to get it shipped to the store. Here's what the box looks like when it comes in. You know, I mean, compared to the size of a hand, you know, it's, you know, and then got their fancy, fancy descriptions on the back talking about the different features and things and whatnot. So if you're really interested in the box, that's what it looks like. Um, but the tool itself is what I'm interested in. But uh, yeah, it's as simple as just, it's a staple gun. I mean, you got some pretty cool features that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, like right here, if you look right here, if you adjust this, you can see this little white line. The more you turn that, the higher up that white line goes. And that's because that's the more power that you're putting into the staple to really sink it. So if you want it to barely sink in just enough to hold like a wire up, but you don't want to pinch your wire, you could turn this knob all the way back and it'll, you know, it'll go into the wood just enough just to hold it in. So that's kind of, that's a really cool feature. Uh, I'm going to show you some different staplings and how, you know, how, how powerful it is all the way up and you, you know, you know, I'll give you the rundown on it, but, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, not, he not too heavy. It's clearly heavier than your, your standard staple gun. Let's go ahead and pull one out here. Yeah. It's clearly a lot heavier than, than these old bad boys, but I tell you what, if you've used one of these a lot, by the end of the day, your wrists are just feeling it. This not bad. You know, it's, you can just do regular stapling. Uh, you get this little device up here on the end, it pops off. And you can see it's got two different ends. It's got a grabbing end for like really digging in the wood. Um, and then you got this end right here, which would be for like you're doing your wiring and things like that. And I'm gonna show you how that works here in just a little bit. So if you're curious on how this thing loads, it's actually when you open this up, you're gonna probably think you're gonna wanna sit set them down in this area, you actually don't. You drop them straight inside of here. Once you do, just close it up like any old gun, and there you go, you're good to go. So I'm gonna shoot uh, I'm gonna shoot three nails, one at the lowest setting, one at the medium setting, and one at the high setting. So there's one at the lowest setting. Turn it up just a little bit. One right next to that. And we're gonna do this one at the, we're going to do this one at the max setting. We're going to do this one right in the middle. Alright, let's take a look at these. So, from my point of view, and from your point of view, there's actually not a whole lot of difference in height. Um, I'm assuming that's because there's no wiring or anything underneath it. We're going to give that a try, too. We're going to shoot some, shoot it with some wire underneath, and we'll see just how, uh, just how little it goes in then. Let's go ahead and try that. Here's a piece of wiring. I'm gonna turn these, I'm gonna turn the settings. And it's as simple as just turning this, this little knob right here on the back. And you see this little adjustment right here at the top. That's how it adjusts. So let's see how this works with a piece of wire on here. Now, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use the, the right head for this. So we'll go ahead and put on the wire head. Wow, that works like a glove. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, if you're gonna be needing to do a lot of wiring, this is the way to go. That one I kind of nicked the wire because, just because I'm not used to it yet. But I mean, all of those staples are in that wire. This is the only one that I hit in the wire. That was because of my own ignorance, but yeah, I mean, it's great. That could really save you some time and really speed up the process. Another excellent useless tool. Let's say, I don't know, your dog gets out, you get lost, and you need, gets lost, and you need to go out and hang some flyers and try to get your dog back. This thing will save you some wrist trouble because that's the least thing you want to worry about while your dog's missing. You can go up with just as simple as anything else. Actually, you want to, you want to change the head when you do this. You want to go to just the flat head. Bingo. And you can go up and hang all your all your signs out so that way you can get your dog back. So Ryobi can help save your dog. 
Hey guys, thanks for coming and watching again today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something about the tool. Uh, if there's any questions you guys have or anything you want to know, just message me. Uh, any tools you want to review, just message me and I'll, I'll cover it if I can. Um, I do appreciate all the views. That's why I'm going to be doing this video I'm doing tomorrow. It's going to be a giveaway. It's nothing big, but it is something. So, please stay tuned. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.